Hi, Seth here. If you appreciate my content, please consider hitting the like button. It's the only way to please the machine spirit algorithms of YouTube. Thank you. Welcome back. This is Seth, the creator of Havran.Digital, the home of Asteria, a 40K live action fan series, as most of you already know. Before I get started, just to reiterate, to like and subscribe, and if you want to support the channel in other ways, there's a Patreon link uh, in the comments down below. It's been a while since I had a, an update about what is going on with work, kids, my wife, and I started my graduate degree in 2023, and it's kicking my butt. I have been very, very busy, but I have been getting a lot of things done a lot of things done to start it off the filming of hysteria part two took place uh and i'm gonna make a separate video uh with a bts look like a behind the scenes thing uh that went down in a separate video um we we spent two days of filming in a barn in the middle of nowhere with an old czech jet from the cold war era the cockpit was still intact and it just felt like it was the perfect place to film the shots for part two. Originally, I was building a cockpit. But my friend told me about this opportunity and the owner was down for us to do whatever we wanted with the cockpit for a couple of days. So I made the executive decision to scrap the cockpit build as much as that really hurt me to do so. Um, I worked really hard on that cockpit. You got to make the best decision for your film. And so we decided to shoot this jet cockpit instead of the cockpit I was building in my garage. Um, and it worked out great. We had a great time, uh, a crew of 10, including uh, actors. I'll do a whole breakdown, like I said, in a separate video. But well, that's what we did. We we shot it. It's we, the the filming of it has been completed as far as the post-production goes uh it's been slow some of the shots require something called rotoscoping and for those of you who don't know it's a process where you basically have to kind of by hand remove sections of the image in order to get a an alpha channel or a transparent layer and all of that is super slow and it's a painstaking process like it nobody likes to do rotoscoping it's like the one job at vfx that everybody hates and i have to do it all myself and it has to come first uh, before i even think about compositing shots into the cockpit scenes that are in blender so far i've got about eight shots done um, but some have errors and they aren't perfect i'll have to go back and redo those uh, but at, i'm at a point where some aren't so bad so I can start building some shots or at least see where I'm at, see how they look put into the 3D environment. And I gotta say guys, here's a uh, test shot and render of what I've done so far. I think you're gonna like it. And what you're looking at right now is a render of the alpha channel image plane put into the Blender 3D scene. And as you can see, um, this is really just to figure out how everything looks in the shots still working out kinks there's some volumetric clouds that are passing in front of the camera might makes it go black for a second and there's some glitches but it's it's in a good place i'm honestly in love with how it's coming together it's really giving me the confidence that this is going to be 10 times or 100 times better quality wise than episode one which as a filmmaker you always want to learn from your mistakes and make the next one better. And I made a lot of mistakes in part one uh, and I've learned from them and I feel like I've applied my lessons to part two to make it better. There's still a long road ahead and I imagine I'll be pretty close to a finished rough draft by August or September with the pace that I'm going right now, unless I just have a burst of productivity and a breakthrough in my scene building. Maybe July, I'll have a rough draft. I want to be as realistic as possible. I don't want to make any promises or give timelines because I do this in my spare time. 
which can be extremely limited sometimes. So I don't want to make any promises to y'all and then not deliver on that promise. Thank you again for your support. And let me know in the comments below what you think, positive or negative. Genuinely, I want to know. Check out the Patreon, like this video, share it if you feel so inclined, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.